Yeah, we outside with it again, getting that work in. Boom, that pound, take it up between the legs, same side, cross, cross, boom, uh, one, two. This quick 17, 15 minute workout. Um, you're talking about breaks, it's eight, seven, eight minutes straight, you know, going straight through with the clips, but uh, with the free throws, form shots in between, I believe it's a 20 minute, 30 minute workout. You know, I did five reps each on those, uh, three to five reps. I mean, like I say, I was going through my fasting time, so I'm just getting quick reps, just staying tight, make sure I get some work in on these low pound dribbles. I believe I got anywhere between 25 and 50 low taps. Each hand gate, great for strengthening your fingertips and more or less the pound dribbles right here. Uh, good pound dribbles, feet shoulder width apart, in like a one four squat. I feel like you don't want to be too high, you don't want to be too low when you're really doing your ball handling. Because I believe like when you getting too low and you ultimately doing ball handling, I believe you're not as quick, you're not as powerful as I believe that in anything in, in any type of sports you do. It's times that you get ultra low when you're blown by somebody. But you know, I feel like you're you're better at a fifty percent, seventy five percent, you know, twenty five percent squat in playing sports in general, you know, and the most time it involves you having your feet shoulder width apart a little bit wider. In these high pounds, you know, these pound dribbles get your fingers stronger, fingers quicker, arms, shoulders strong. I believe you just build natural strength, just dribbling in that basketball. If you have a heavy basketball, that's cool. Want to do a tennis ball as well, that's cool as well. Right here we did these crossovers. I believe it's 20 or 10. I did 10 tight, 10 wide, 20 tight, 20 wide. You know, you want to do 50, that's cool. You know, each of them. You know, the crossovers in the behind the back, I do tight and wide. You can do them uh, with the rocking between the legs as well. I'll show this, but I'll show you when to get there as far as the rocking between the legs. You can do uh, tight and uh, wide with them as well. But just taking them between the legs, just finding that groove, head up, finding it. Verse between the legs, boom, ha, ha finding that groove. Whatever we do to the front, we do to the back. Whatever we do to the right, we do to the left. Just finding that groove, man, finding these handles, man. Make sure y'all go check out my apparel as well that I will tag it in the video. Check it out. You know, want to buy something, buy something. Drop a positive comment on the video as well. Show some love. You know, boom, now we got tight behind the back. Boom, tight inside our ankles. Now outside our ankles, just finding leaning. Uh, chest up, eyes up, shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, pounding that basketball, finding that groove. As you'll be able to hear that, that rhythm of the basketball, one of the sweetest sounds, the sweetest sound, one of the sweetest sounds on the court, you know, catching a basketball, going through the net, that sound as well, especially chain that. So these, the rocking between the legs, you can do tight and wide. I believe I just did tight on this one, but finding it, like I say, go anywhere between 10 reps, 20 reps, 100 reps, you know, if you got time, man, I believe you should be dribbling for at least an hour every day. Uh, so now, boom, I'm pound, double cross, pop, one, two, pound, one, two, huh, one, two. Huh. Uh, now, same thing, opposite side, how many reps I did? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know, you can do five, 10, 25, just find that groove. Now, we just, I'm going through the series of, I believe, pound, behind the back, behind the back, pound, one, two, huh, one, two. Too. I say you can do these walking, half court and back, free throw line and back, full court and back, you know, switching uh when you get to free throw line, switching when you get to half court and when you get to opposite side. You know, now we up pound twin cross, finding that groove, man, working them handles, man. I say having the handles is very essential to being a better basketball player, being able to dribble the ball, put yourself in a better position on the floor, put other people in a better position on the floor. Now we're taking that pound, boom, twin cross, and I'm working with this psyche basketball. Man, I wish I ain't got to get that link, so, you know, because they got a little thing I got going with them where, you know, I get a little percentage, man, when y'all buy one of these basketballs, but it's not on my YouTube, it's on my TikTok, man. But show love to psyche basketball, man. Go check them out. Great outdoor basketball, you know, for your kids, because I know you don't want to dribble that expensive Wilson outside, you know which I believe is a great basketball, but I think they need to make a find a way to make a Wilson basketball with that type of feel that it doesn't fade when you dribble outside. So look, there I have it. I just dropped that idea. So when they have it, you know, just know I stated that I was one of the first people to express that, even though it's not about that. But 
I think that'll be pretty dope. Maybe I'll drop my own basketball. They got that type of feel outside. Well, you can dribble outside and got that same type of feel. Boom. Now we're going through these V-dribbles, twin, twin. Ha, ha, uh, huh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what I'm telling myself, you know. I believe we're going five reps each way, just finding that groove, man. And you can get that handle work in. Get your handle work in. You don't got no basketball. Use your imagination. Shoot. You got a tennis ball. Use that. Volleyball. Use that. Soccer ball. Use that. You know, if not, use your imagination, man. Imagination is key to becoming better at anything you do. You know, you have to see it, you know, before you believe it. You know, sometimes you got to see it in your mind before you actually can see it in reality. And I believe if you see it in your mind, it is reality. Because why would, you know, you be able to have those images in your mind if it's not real or it can be real. So I think that's the thing about life, you know. Whatever you think, you can bring it to reality, you know. And, you know, every... Every action was once an idea. You know, everything on this earth was once an idea. So you have to think it before you can actually put it into work. I like this one right here, twin cross. Ha ha, twin behind. I mean, one, two, three, four. See, I got the opposite hand active. One, two, three, four. Just having quick hands, being able to slap a defender hand out the way. This is great. One hand work as well. Boom, pound, taking it between your leg. Boom, uh, pound. Uh, huh, uh. I believe I did 10, whatever. You do 25, 50 reps. How many you, how many you don't want to do it? Uh, one, two, pound. Wrap in between, behind, cross, pound. Ha, huh. one, two. Huh. Believe I did about three, five each side. Just find that groove, man. Find that groove. Get your work in, man. Become better, man. Challenge yourself. It's okay to challenge yourself, you know. If you're around others that want to be challenged, that's cool as well to help them challenge themselves as well. But, you know, challenge yourself. You know, push a little bit. Challenge yourself. Uh, and when I say just challenge yourself, I say creativity. Getting out to the frame that, uh, you know, you typically want to do or something that makes you uncomfortable, you know. Uh, not ultimately all about speed. It's about control and being fast when you need to, fast when you know, it's the difference between being fast and being quick. Being fast, just getting to point A, B, point B, quick, and just floating, taking out. But, you know, we out this thing, team, Ryan, Bennett, let's get it, baby, man. Ha, good work.